Hey there, I'm Lily O'Reilly. This is Lily O'Reilly Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about the Catalpha from Paladin Pleasure Sculptors. So let's get to it, huh? Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the Catalpha in medium near clear from the company Paladin Pleasure Sculptors. Now this is a lovely toy, one of the first near clears that I've added to my collection, and I'm really excited to get to share it with you. It retails for about 78 USD as far as I could tell, but as always that's just what I found when I was on the site, please don't try to hold independent creators accountable for my data gathering, okay? This is in their medium size, their medium firmness, which in near clear is a 0045, but in non near clear is a 0050. They also offer a soft and a hard. The medium has some squish, but genuinely not much. It doesn't have much pull. It has a lot of flex, but it's not what I would consider a highly compressive toy. Their soft is 0030 or near clear 0031. And their firm is a DS10A. If you know silicone, that makes sense to you. This is, of course, Platinum Cure Silicone. It includes what they call cosmetic grade colorants, which means it should be body safe. They recommend only water and oil-based lubes due to the fact that this is a silicone toy. All right, so talking about size, this is a medium, which means that its tip to table height is eight inches or 20.3 centimeters. Its usable length, which comes down to this crease on the top of the base here, is 6.75 inches or 17.14 centimeters, which is a very generous amount of toy. And its maximum circumference around it at the widest point is 6 inches or 15.24 centimeters. This is a toy that goes for depth over girth has a lovely flowery flared head that is just marvelous for kissing the cervix gently without damaging it. And since we're talking about sizes, that means I have to bring in Joe. Joe is our statistically average penis. He is what science says the average penis person's penis would be, statistically. Yeah. Now, when you compare the Catalpha to Joe, starting from roughly the same usable point, you can see that this is a toy that is built for depth play. It has at least two, three inches on Joe in terms of depth. That alone is enough for me to say that it goes outside the realm of traditional average human penetration, like what you're probably going to find on somebody wandering around. However, the girth is very, very similar. This is a toy that at its thickest is slightly larger than Joe, but not by much. So if you like traditional average girth, rough average penis girth, this is a great toy. If you don't want something that is going to challenge you on width and depth at the same time, go for this. You get as much depth as you want without the challenge of getting stretched out around it necessarily. Now, they also offer a small, a large, and an XL. The small is 6.75 from tip to table, or 17.14 centimeters. When you go up a size to the large, you're looking at 9.75, which is 25-ish centimeters. And when you go all the way up to the XL, you're looking at over a foot of toy around 32.4 centimeters. So it is a lot of toy when you go up to their XL. This was one where I felt like the medium was definitely the happy compromise because it gave me more than enough depth. It gave me more than enough depth without overwhelming me with girth. The head is a little challenging to get in due to the 
flared nature. This part I found had a tendency to catch a little and give you kind of a pop sensation, but not the same way that like a flared chance would. It was more of just a little catch and drag. The smoothness of the silicone is phenomenal though. It held on to lube beautifully. I didn't have any real issues with dryness or dragging the way I can with a more textured silicone. And overall, this is just a very elegantly designed toy. The coloration is subtle and lovely and makes me think of spring. The near clear has a great haziness to it. It is very much, this is a toy that I would recommend for people who enjoy the depth aspect of equine toys, but don't want an equine toy, which is, you know, totally valid. This has a beautiful, subtle curvature and lovely medial ring, a flowery head without the connotations that can come from something like a chance or one of the ones from like exotic erotics or other shops like that. This is just depth and a nice gentle wiggle right here in the front that I thought was beautifully subtle for G-spotting. It gave you just a little nudge as you thrust. It's not, nothing about this toy is aggressive. It's not aggressively textured. It's not aggressively sized. It is just a smooth, simple, lovely depth toy. It is, of course, harness compatible and anal safe due to the flared base. It's a little heavy in the base for what I would consider comfortable for strap-on use, but it wouldn't be a major hurdle to get over. You would just have the issue where your harness is tinted out from your body a bit. Overall, and I say this without any kind of affiliate or other affiliation with Paladin Pleasure Sculptors, I really enjoyed the toy. I personally think I prefer the head shape of a more traditional equine toy, but if you're looking for something that is more in this range, I can absolutely recommend them. Their pour is glorious. There's no bubbles, there's no flaws. Their trimming on the base is smooth and clean. The only thing that they don't do that I would love is provenance. I really wish Palette and Pleasure sculptors would imprint like the little head design that they use in their logo on the side or on the base so that it's easier when I find this in its clear unmarked bag later that I actually know who it's from. But that might just be an issue with people like me that have ridiculously large collections. So that's what I've got. It is a great alternative to traditional equine toys. If you get it in non-near clear, they've got some beautiful pores. Their near clears are gorgeous. I just, I didn't find anything truly awful about this toy. My major complaint was that there's a little bit of a catch up here due to how the head is shaped, but it was not in any way large enough of an issue to detract from my enjoyment of the toy test. So if you like it, Go out and get yourself one. Have fun. <laughs> and in the meantime, if you would like to find the places that I exist online, that's all find.lilyoreilly.com. If you want to toss me a couple bucks on Ko-Fi, which is, you know, never required, always appreciated, ko-fi.com, ow, slash Lily O'Reilly. Oh, that hurt. Haha. <laughs> all right. So in the meantime, uh, try to avoid running into things. Be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and I will talk to you later. Bye.